Welcome everyone. The first step to access True Cooler is inside of the App Store. You're going to search for the True Cooler app, and this is the one you're looking for. In the future, the app icon may change, but as long as it is uh, called True Cooler, then this is the app. And you will need to download this app. And once you have downloaded it, Let's open it up. Once the True Caller is opened, we'll just tap on Next for the on screen instructions. And now it says Call Identification Not Enabled. So we're going to open the settings and you should be brought to Call Blocking and Identification. But sometimes this does not show up. So if you don't see this, you're going to enter the multitasking. You're going to close out of the settings app. You're going to go back into True Cooler, and then you're going to tap on Open Settings again, and repeat that until you see this screen. So now we're going to turn on the call blocking and identification like this. We're going to turn them all on, and then we're going to go back to True Cooler. And then we're going to tap on continue. And you will need to enter in your phone number. So I'm going to do that now. You will now see the privacy policy. So let's agree to this one. And now it wants the one time password for the phone number. You will now need to create a profile. It will now ask if you want relevant ads to show in the app. So we'll tap on choose and you can either allow or not allow and enable call alerts. Let's turn this one on. And so we are now in the app. So once we are in the application, you can search up for any phone number to see, you know, if the, uh, the app is, uh, the app, the phone is legit or not. We have the protect section. And you can see calls and you can see the block list here. There is also a premium uh, version and whether you get this or not is up to you. But for the most part, when you get a phone call, it's not going to, you know, say, is this a spam? Is this, you know, insurance company or not? With the premium, when you get a phone call, it does require you to ask Siri to do the check. The thing is, is that really worth $2.99 a month when you can wait for the call to pass, go into the search, search for the number, and that is a free solution. It takes like 10 more seconds, all right? If you do want to view phone numbers, which you know, have already passed in the phone app, there is the recents. And this will show the recent numbers and you can just look at the recent numbers, plop that into here and you'll be good to go. So it's up to you whether or not you're using premium, but the free version should get the job done. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.